Hi, everyone. My name is Lauren Vicker. I'm a member of the marketing and social media teams of the Team-Based Learning Collaborative. And it's my pleasure to introduce to you one of the plenary speakers for our 2024 conference, which will take place March 2nd through 5th at Collin College in McKinney, Texas. So the, today I would like to introduce you to Dr. Wendy Duncan. Dr. Duncan has a PhD and Bachelor of Science from the University of Toronto, where she also did a postdoctoral fellowship in mechanical engineering. Most recently, she served as Vice President and Chief of Staff at Champlain College in Vermont and Provost at California Health Sciences University. Dr. Duncan, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be involved. Well, I'd like to talk a little bit about your, your talk at the conference, but first, for people who aren't familiar with your background, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and the things that you focused on during your career? I guess I started off my life as a pharmacist, which I didn't particularly enjoy, so <laughs> but took me into the academic route. And one of the things that really inter interested me about academia was the fact that I really didn't enjoy my undergraduate education. I was in big classes with the lecture method, multiple choice questions on exams. And honestly, I didn't grow very much as a person and I really didn't learn that much. Um, at least I didn't learn what I wanted to learn in university. And so I thought, if I'm a professor, I can change all that. I can use my teaching to help students grow, to be engaged in what they learn. And so that's really what I focused on. Unfortunately, I was at a Research One university and they were not particularly interested in my interest in teaching. <laughs> <laughs> so I, until I got tenure, I really had to focus on the physical sciences and tablet compaction and those kinds of things. But as soon as I got tenure, I had a little more freedom and I really did a 90 degree turn and focused on education. I, um, I actually had already begun teaching using problem-based learning, and I started to focus on learning things like process education, team-based learning, teamwork, um, a whole raft of things that you, want, you might want to learn as, as someone who is very interested in education. Yeah. I then became more and more involved in various associations that were associated with teaching and learning, and my primary focus really for the last many years has been how do you develop as an individual in order to be a great team member, in order to be successful in life, and in order to create the kind of life that is satisfying and rewarding. How interesting. So how are you planning to bring all of these diverse perspectives into your talk at the TBLC conference? I think that a lot of people at TBLC may not have heard some of these concepts. And I thought that given, I understand quite a bit about team-based learning, I've used it as well in the past. And I thought that some of these principles might be really helpful tools in professors' armamentaria to um, really boost their teaching and actually boost their understanding, not only of themselves, but also of their students and of their colleagues. And so what I'm going to be doing is a little bit of a survey of some of the things that I've used to develop my teaching and actually my leadership skills as a professor and dean and provost. Um, these will be cognitive moral development. Uh, I really focus on the work of Robert Keegan, and I will share a whole bunch of books of his that I actually started reading in the 80s but he's, he's written a few fairly recently that I think are really, really valuable, especially um, in, in organizational uh, performance. So, you know, if you're a professor and you're on a team, those kinds of things will be useful. But also uh, he has a developmental model that is really useful to pinpoint where your students are. And then uh, you can link it up to teaching methods that will help them move up the ladder in terms of their, their development and their maturity. I'll also talk a little bit about a team model that is absolutely fabulous. It's I like it because you can identify exactly where your team is almost immediately just by listen, listening to the language that people use every day. 
Um, very, very quick, but very, very powerful. And then <clears throat> finally, I'll be talking a little bit about process education because that really focuses on how students can improve their learning processes and self-development processes. So taken all together, you can see it's really uh, a talk that will be focused around the whole idea of personal and professional development, but using various different references as my foundation. That sounds excellent. Uh, for a room full of educators, it sounds like it's really going to be a good fit and a good supplement to people who are using TBL. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm really hoping. Yeah. So what would you like to see people take away from your talk or your plenary talk at the conference? I am expecting that people get at least one or two ahas. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I, as I described, the, for example, the cognitive moral development levels of the students, they'll say, oh, yeah, I can see <laughs> uh, Janie is at this level and John is at this level. And oh, suddenly I understand what the issues are and maybe what are some of the interventions I can take in order to help them develop and grow. Mm -hmm. And then uh, so those ahas, I think, will be helpful. But then also I'll leave, they'll leave with a whole bunch of resources with, uh, I guess, in a way, my talk will act like a, an extended abstract. <laughs> um, <laughs> the work that I'm talking about mm -hmm. so that people know what they're getting into as they get into the books and manuscripts. That sounds great. It sounds like the kind of thing that educators will need to hear. So thank you so much, Wendy Duncan, for joining us today. And a reminder that the Team-Based Learning Collaborative's annual conference will be taking place at Collin College in McKinney, Texas, March 2nd through 5th, 2024. And there is a link below this video so you can register. And there is an early bird discount if you register before January 15th. So thank you again, Dr. Duncan. It's been great talking to you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.